Afternoon folks. Uh, I'm in the greenhouse at the minute doing a bit of sewing. I have shot a video today down on the allotment an update but um, I got a new uh, piece of software for my phone and I'd used that and uh, an app and it didn't work so I lost that but never mind I'll, I'll update you when there's really something to look at they weren't really so I'm just showing you how things were standing anyway cracking day it's uh, 23 degrees in the greenhouse had a good morning been and uh, collected uh, a load of fresh horse manure well they weren't manure really we went for the the straw for it's, it's uh, soaked in wee we're for the um, for the compost bins so we've got a load of that so I'm just sowing some um, shallots today uh, Deroon they're uh, like a long shallot and a banana shallot I should say so all I've done is uh, filmed it with some well, I used this that app and it, it's uh, it's not work so never mind. So I've just filled a uh, seed tray, sprinkled them on. They look a bit like uh, leek seeds, and then just dusted it with the uh, sprinkler compost. Um, did them last year. Got the idea from uh, allotment diary, um, and they were great last year. In fact. They were better than my onions turned out, so yeah, excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be sowing. So I did some carrots a couple of weeks ago, and uh, some of them are a bit leggy because I didn't check. I checked them every day after a week had passed. I checked them every day, and the last the two days I didn't check them, they germinated, which uh, they call sod's law, don't they? So I've got some carrots on the way. I've just sown some more in the gaps, so uh, the early nantes, the early nantes too, and then leeks I did a couple of weeks ago. They're uh, fine. They're just coming out of the crook stage. So when these um, shallots get to that stage, and I'll prick them out and put them into some modules. I'll just show you some uh, eighty onions in, in there, so multi-purpose to get them underway and garlic's flying along so uh, it's a French variety I can't remember the name Um I forgot I'd ordered it and it weren't until uh, I got my seed potatoes that they came um, that I realised that I'd got it also not sure only I've done three bags of First early potatoes. Losing it again. It's going a bit blurred. But yeah, they're on the way. I think I did them last the Tuesday. Last Tuesday I did them. So they've only been in for a week tomorrow. So that's what I'm up to. And I'm just going to sow these tomatoes. Now they were free. So I'm going to do a few of them, not many. Um, black cherries I'll do some of these aperios I'll sow all them because we uh, I'm not sure how many seeds in there but wiggle through them they're the ones that everybody eats in our house uh, they're mine they're for cooking uh, and um, alicante and cossack now I did cossack before and I'm only doing these again because the ones I've got left over I don't mind alicante Cossacks, I weren't 100% convinced with them, but I'm going to give them a, because I've got some seed, and uh, I didn't want to buy any more uh, tomato seeds, because I've got plenty, so I thought I'd just, I'm going to give them another go, and uh, if, I, if they're not fantastic, don't mind, because I've got Alicante, and like I said, the others that we eat, so that's it, so I'm going to sow them, and then I'm going to put them, along with the shallots, on uh on a gentle heat, gas mark for no <laughs> heated propagator in uh, in my window. It's into thermostatically controlled one. It's only one of them uh, cheapy ones. So uh, 
I've got two of them, about fifteen quid each. So I just stick that on the on the on the heat and uh, until they've germinated. And as soon as they've germinated, off the heat they come because if you leave them on there, they're just going to get leggy because it's too warm for them. You only need to crack the seed once they've germinated. That's it. Off the heat straight away. And uh, tomatoes, as soon I prick them out, as soon as they've got the leaves on, and I think I can move them, they're pricked out as soon as I can. Uh, so that's it then. So I've got a few more onions left and a few more potatoes. Uh, that's all I've got to show you. So I'm going to crack on and sow them tomatoes and then uh, get them on the heat. Right. Right, so uh, tomatoes sown, uh, black cherry, and I've got, um, I'm done, Cossacks, then Aperio, then San Marino's Mizzino, and the last ones where there's loads of them, Alicante. I always do tons of Alicante because uh, they want the spares, I have a game few to old boys on the lot to help me out or uh, people at my wife's works buy them off me and it pays for my compost so sell them cheap anyway so I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna cover them up with a bit of compost and then I'm going to uh, put them on the heat so all I do is just a, a fine sieve uh, you can use a plant pot I've seen them do that I've done that uh, but got these from uh, I think it was Wilco's a few years ago and it's been spot on so I think you get a pack I think you get the the, the riddle uh, one of them for pricking out and uh, for what is it, a couple of quid, quid, two quid, I can't remember now, but I'm that long, but I've got a couple, one for down here and one for on allotment, so I'll just drop some fine compost over them and uh, put them on me, uh, on me to prop. Alright, All right, just to finish this video off, there they are in the propagators. They're the uh, shallots and they're the um, tomatoes and they're just on the window. I'm not going to show you the windows because they need cleaning and a mick from Michael's plot. Uh, I'll have something to say about that. Anyway, um, that's me signing off. 3rd of March. Not be long till we're getting them spuds in. Look after your sends. See you later.